Hey, uh, this is uh, Tuesday, April uh, 26th, and this is Draft Bit Office Hours. I'm Dave. <laughs> and uh, joining me is Rahul. Hey, guys. Uh, well, I'm not sure if people can hear me right now. We were having some technical difficulties, so. Okay, oh, they can perfect. they can't hear. Can you it's hear me? me then? You can't hear. Mm, okay. All right, everybody. Well, Rahul can't hear me, so that might be weird, but we'll see how it goes. Um, all right. So I'll try it again. Today's Tuesday, April 26th. This is uh, Draft Bit Office Hours. I'm Dave. Joining me is Rahul, and uh, we're going to hang out for a bit. Hey, Amit, good to see you. Uh, Lyoto, Bill Dunning, you guys don't have questions, I guess. All right, Bill, well, drop it in the uh, ask a question section. That way we can keep track of it uh, for later. All right. Well, okay, here we go. Bill is asking, what's the best way to use a web view component to include a web RTC session in my app? Okay. So um, we've actually just added, we've just added a, an option, a, a toggle that you can switch on our web view that enables it for video chat so if you go grab um i can try to share my screen and show real quick Okay, um, I think you should be able to see that. So if you come here and grab a web view and then take a look at the uh, configs tab, we have an optimized for video chat right here. And um, currently I know that it does, it works with whereby. So I'll drop that in the, Okay, so it does work with whereby, and I think it also works with, um, hold on, let me see. We're like, we haven't even announced this yet, so um, I'm actually playing around with this today, um, working on docs and stuff. So we don't have documentation or anything for this yet, but I've got some things. There's one more service that it works with. Hold on, bear with me. Talky, T A L K dot I O. All right, so. Uh, 
Bill, try those. I don't know if you're okay. I try to do it, but it didn't help anything. Our web RTC is based on Jitsi. Okay, so depending on what service you're using, it it might need additional parameters. Behind the scenes, it's uh, I'm honestly not totally uh, sure everything it does. It's not something I worked on, so um, but I know it sets up some additional query string parameters i think um and like helps out with um like maybe cores or something like that so but if if uh if jitsi requires anything specific you can reach out let us know on the community and maybe it's something that we could add to the uh, web view so hit us up and let us know what's going on but uh, if you want to get started trying it, you can jump into Whereby. They, they do have a free plan. Um, and we'll have docs about that soon. So hopefully that'll get you pointed in the right direction. Let me see if Rahul is back. Okay. Um, Lyoto, I hope I'm saying that right. How is it? possible to navigate to hey Rahul can you hear me uh, mm. uh, <clears throat> I think we're having some technical difficulties guys uh, for some reason I can't hear Dave and I'm not even sure now if you guys can hear me yeah okay, Dave uh, says yes you can uh, so yeah my video I would like weird I don't know leave it to Dave to take on this session and uh, I'll be in the crowd, Dave. So okay. just let me know if you need any help. Cheers. Okay. All right. Uh, Lyoto is asking, how is it possible to navigate to other pages that are not in the menu when I choose a screen that isn't a tab navigator? This part of the navigation doesn't make sense to me yet. Okay. I'm going to read this one more time. How is it possible to navigate to other pages that are not in the menu? When I choose a screen that is in a tab navigator. Uh, Lyoto, would you like to come up and show me in your app what you're working on so I can get a better idea of what you're trying to do? All right, let me know. How is it possible to navigate to other pages that are not in the menu when I choose a screen? Okay, the problem is when I am on a screen that is in this type of menu, I cannot navigate to another page that is not in the tab. Okay, well, you should be able to. Um, I guess I could try to reproduce this a little bit um, and see. Let me. Okay, the problem is, is when I'm on a screen that is in this type of menu, uh, I cannot navigate to another page that is not in one of the tabs. Okay, so we'll create a tab nav. Okay, hopefully you guys can see that. Um, so let's, I'll just grab some screens, I guess. Uh, I'll add this one. And this one. And I'll 
have a blank one. Okay, so I'm just going to tighten this up real quick. Social and then blank. Okay. So I need a tab navigator and I'll put social and cards in the tab navigator and I'll have a blank screen. Okay. So the problem is when I'm on a screen that is in this type of menu, I cannot navigate to another that, oh, uh, thanks Rahul, loves the new example screens, thank you. Okay, sorry, it's not tab. I don't know what that means, it's not tab. So you're, you're talking about a stack then, if not tab? Um, okay, I'm not sure, I'm not sure here. He says, maybe I'm not doing it. Lyota, is, is it okay to show your app? Um, okay, well, I'm not sure what you mean, Lyoto, about, sorry, it's not tab. Well, uh, okay. Rahul is messaging me, sorry, sorry. Uh, okay. Yeah, but is it okay if I show this app? I've got the link now, but is it okay if I show it? Okay. Layoto, I can pull up your app, but I wanna make sure. I have a menu at the bottom of the screen, and when my screen is not in this menu, I can't navigate to it. Okay. But, okay, is it the built-in navigation at the bottom? That would be a tab, tab navigator. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna assume it's a tab. I have a menu at the bottom of the screen and when my screen is not in this menu, I can't navigate to it. So if I'm on a social, I want to click a button and go to All right, tab navigator, two screens and one outside of it. And so if I'm on let's say card and I click this link. I want to navigate to my blank screen. So right here, I've got blank screen. So I can navigate uh, to any of these or go back from what I see. So I should be able to go blank. And then when I look at this, it should take me to the blank screen, which it does. Okay, so um, unless I'm miss unless I'm missing something, I think that is shows that it's it does work. Again, I've got a tab navigator, 
two screens inside of it, one screen outside of it. And I'm navigating from one of these to the one outside, which is blank. Yep, okay. Okay, uh, he says I, or they say I just figured it out and does the order of the screens matter? No, the order of the screens should not matter. If you mean, uh, I'm not sure wh where you mean order, like order uh, in the navigation tab or ordered in the screen section of the builder, but uh, either way, it shouldn't matter. Oh, in the navigation tab. No. No, because like I didn't even set up these tabs uh, when we did it just now. I didn't even set up the tabs on this navigator to tell it what what these go to. It just like picked them automatically and it's even set to four tabs, even though it should be two. So um yeah i don't know if you don't want us to sh uh okay yeah he says or they say thanks for the answer if you don't want us to share your app on on here we can take a look after office hours i can take a quick peek and just see if uh Something stands out, but okay. You're welcome. Any other questions? Where should I post a video conference link? Um, okay, that can. That's okay. No problem. But if you put it in the question section, I can keep track of it uh, a little better. So take your time. Uh, I'll stick around. Rahul, you want to try again or? All right, Bill is asking, if I want to have you look at the internals of why it might not work, can I give you a test URL, URL to work with? Um, yes, yeah, if you want us to take a look, you can uh, send us a, like me or Rahul a DM in uh, community. And we can check into it and, you know, see what we can do. Cool. Uh, Lyoto asked, or, uh, yeah, if the screen templates are already available. Yeah, they should be. And I'm adding them pretty quickly right now. So check every day especially like towards the bottom of the list to see uh new stuff that i'm adding all right rahul you want to try to come up or what I don't see anything going on in the community, really. Let's see.
Um, let's see here. Add Rahul real quick. Okay, Leo, so I exchanged with George about the configuration of Expo account on a tutorial that is planned to configure the Apple Notification Expo. Do you know when it is scheduled? It's not a simple thing to configure. Okay, I'm going to read that again. I exchanged with George about the configuration of the Expo account on a tutorial that is planned to configure the Apple notifications in Expo G. Um, no, I don't know when that's scheduled, but it's definitely one of the imminent things. So notifications and the maps and... Um, the video chat are the three things, the three main big things that we're pushing right now. So I would expect soon, like within the next week. Sorry, or so. guys. Oh, well, that's okay. We'll figure it out. No worries. If you just want to look at my pretty face, I can stay here. <laughs> I think I should just go. I'll, I'll be more helpful in the chat. That's cool. All right. Well, we've got, um, I guess I can show you one thing we haven't announced that we have. Bill said he just DM'd Rahul. Okay, cool. Good deal. All right, we've got, um, let me see if I, if I can just find it real quick. We have, actually it wouldn't be that, it would be, bear with me for a second. Um, okay, on this checkbox. Oh, you know what? Actually, I'll just do it like this. So conditional display. Now, if you see here, we've got a built-in variable now called is online. That's a Boolean that's available and basically it just returns true or false depending on if the device is online so uh you know in this case like you could wrap your page in a view and then conditionally display one view you know if you the device is online and another if the device is offline or i think rahul is working on a little tutorial about how you could uh store some basic data on the device for offline retrieval. So anyway, that's something cool. Um, not a whole lot else going on right now. So I guess we'll wrap it up if nobody has any more questions. Yes, I can check my Slack, Rahul. Here's a test you're all for seeing. Okay, cool. All right, um, Bill, Lyoto, Lyoto. I wish I knew how to say that right. You guys good for now? As always, if you have other questions, you can reach out in the community on intercom and yeah, here every Tuesday and Thursday at 1 p.m. Central Time live. And if you miss it, we post them on our YouTube page under the draft bit office hours playlist so you can go back and it's not uh, always you know just um 
helping people. Sometimes we demo stuff or like just kind of walk you through how to do something. So check it out. We usually have um, book bookmarks or like chapter markers in there with titles. So you can just go to the description, check out like what we talked about in that episode. If there's something you like, click on the, the chapter, check it out or whatever. But okay. So looks like we're good. We'll call it quits for today. Thanks, Rahul. Sorry you couldn't join. Next time we'll have better luck. And Amit, thanks for being here. Everybody else, we will see you next time. Thank you.